there is no more excuses. We gotta get in the stand as early as possible, stay as long as possible. I don't know where he went, that was a really, really good buck. The best case scenario is it ends today. Get ourselves a Halloween buck. This is the feeling that I've been chasing. With the excitement from Rose Bowl behind us, we only take one day off to get some videos edited. It's now officially November. There is not a bow hunter alive that doesn't get excited from that calendar flip. It's the beginning of the most unpredictable, most exciting time of the year. Bucks on hoof, frantically searching for does, lead to some of the most memorable hunts you'll ever experience. November 2nd, Tyler and I team up again to attack the Acorn Ridge. Welcome back to another episode, everyone. Today, we're getting right back at it. It's November 2nd. I took the day off out of the woods. He didn't and had a horrible experience yesterday with uh, his target buck swerving him at 20 yards, 30 yards. So, to no avail, but uh, yeah, we're gonna keep at it. Keep on it, so I will see you guys later. We're trying to offset that today. So we're going right back in to uh, the piece that I shot my buck in. And today's all about luck. We don't have any other giants or big ones on camera out here, but it lends itself so well to a cruising area that anything from around here could come through there today. And that's technically what I expect. So we're gonna get down in there, get this stand hung, and then be quiet because it is silent this morning. You're gonna be hearing deer and there's snow on the ground, so we're going to be seeing deer. It's going to be a great damn day. I'm excited. I think there might be a doe down below, or another deer down below in the brown, though. So it's just a bunch of brown on brown, and I can't tell. That one's walking back up the hill now. Yep. That is a buck. He's not big, though. Or at least I think he's got antlers. It's so hard to tell. running through their yard. Yeah, it's definitely a buck and a doe, because that buck is just on top of the hill, pushing the doe back and forth. And they're back again. Yep. Oh, you're recording right now. Yeah. Okay, At least that's what it looks like is happening. The doe moves, and then he moves on top of the hill to keep her down in the bottom. With a morning filled with distant excitement, it's time to get Walker in a tree and give him the shot at being the lucky one. The movement we have had already, there was no way we're not getting right back into the same tree. If for whatever reason, one of those bucks crosses the river, we'll be in the game on a second mature deer. Forgive the intern, he's not very 
good at this yet. He's still learning. We're getting we're getting into golden hour here. We don't expect to see anything tonight. I said that before. This is definitely a morning area. We've been skunked in the evenings before. It's nothing new. But it is November and anything can happen. And that's why we're out here today. The wind is being a lot more inconsistent than it has ever been out here for us. So about 35, 40 minutes ago, we had some deer down in the river to our east. And for whatever reason, they caught our wind down in there. It's supposed to be blowing straight north, but it keeps it keeps going straight east pretty often. And uh, you know, I'm willing to live with that because my shooter came from the west, and I expect pretty much all of the shooter bucks in here to come from the west. So it's not a big deal. But either way, we're gonna hang in there for the rest of this evening. Fingers crossed and know that in our hearts it's November and literally anything can happen in November.
These hunts are exactly why we all love November. Nothing is going to keep us out of this acorn-filled ridge. Tyler joins Walker and I, and we double-team the ridge again. An hour and a half before our first light, we spooked a pretty good buck when we got here. Ultimately, it's November, and like, I want to be super optimistic, but that this is going to be one incredible morning, but at the same time, I'm realistic, and it's 50-50. This is the warmest day in a week. One of two things can happen. We're not going to see any deer or it's going to be crazy. One of the two. But... Unfortunately, we are finally met with the dreaded slow day. Our morning hunt had zero deer and we decided to take that opportunity to move trees. Being slightly more east gives us a better view over the river and swamps. Walker gave it his best effort to call in some deer, but anything worth shooting continues to be well out of range. Just like that, as fast as bow season came, it went. We hunted more this year than any other year past, but it never seems like enough. But as we turn the page on our season, we have one more story to tell. The Orange Army takes to the woods on the next episode of The Debrief. <laughs>